Hi guys, I'm Rahul and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to be talking about tetracycline treatment. Currently, what you're seeing on screen is a fish of one of our followers, Subhajit Sinha from uh, Calcutta. So his fish had this uh, swim bladder issue and uh, he had sent a video to me and uh, you know, he had asked me for what treatment we can do and I suggested uh, we can do tetracycline treatment. And uh, what you're seeing next, after five days of treatment, this is the fish what you're seeing which is re completely recovered and uh, started taking food and all of that. So in this video, we're going to be talking about a detailed uh, video about how tetracycline treatment needs to be done and the do's and don'ts about this medication. Let's get into the video. So this video is a very interesting video because uh, fish you know ailments and fish diseases are a very common thing in the hobby and a lot of people leave the hobby because uh, the fishes fall sick or the fishes die and all that so first things first we need to identify what is the problem and then we need to try and treat it tetracycline basically is a commonly available antibiotic and it's mainly used for any kind of uh, you know in bacterial kind of infections so for fishes we can use it uh, for both internal and external so it takes care of a lot of uh, internal things like your swim bladder issue, uh, external things like gill fluke and uh, fin rot, cotton worm uh, which comes very commonly uh, in fishes. So all these things are uh, bacterial kind of based uh, diseases. All these can be treated with tetracycline. But tetracycline is a little more advanced. So you need to be very careful when you use this tetracycline medication. Before any treatment or uh, getting into this detailed uh, details of how to use the medicine and all that, we need to understand why this disease happened and why this infection happened. So mainly in fish tanks, if your tanks are not cleaned well or your filtration is bad, these kind of things will happen. So if your water condition is not good or if you added some new fish uh, without quarantining, all these issues will happen only then. So please be careful and uh, first understand why this infection happened then get into treatment so because without solving the problem if we do a treatment that problem will come again so we need to be very careful when we do the treatment first thing and also mainly we should understand why this thing happened first things before we do any treatment we need to have a separate hospital tank especially when you're doing tetracycline or metro or any kind of treatments because all these medicines are antibacterial so uh, in your fish tank established fish tank there will be beneficial bacteria which will get immediately killed uh, once you put these kind of medications so that is also there no it's it's so that is also good bacteria and there is also bad bacteria so good bacteria also will get killed so that is the reason we need to have a separate tank so if you have an established aquarium with all filtration and you add tetracycline into that your entire tank gets washed out the beneficial bacteria which breaks down you know your ammonia nitrate nitrate all of that will get destroyed so you need to have a separate hospital tank once you have the tank ready have the similar water parameters as per your uh, main tank add the fish into the tank after that you need to have tetracycline is very commonly available in most of your medical shops it comes in 250 and i think 500 mg it comes in capsules you need to open the capsule and there is this uh, powder which comes out and you can uh, use it so the dosage is very simple it is 500 mg for 40 liters of water so if you are using an 80 liter hospital tank add two capsules and this needs to be added and uh, when you are doing any treatment the oxygen levels come down when you add medicines into a tank so you need to have very good uh, aeration have good aeration no filtration required have a heater please use a thermometer to check and the temperature shouldn't go more than 30 degrees good aeration temperature uh, you know heater thermometer very important and to add on and to help the you know uh, fish come back or recover faster you can add one gram of non-iodized rock salt so if you are having 80 liters of water at least add 70 grams of rock salt dissolve the salt in a separate bowl and add it into the tank not directly on the fish from little far off because if you add directly uh, put the salt water directly on a freshwater fish tank fish it will get salt burns which again injures the fishes so please be very careful main reason and main very very important thing i am repeating is that aeration should be very high this should be good aeration because oxygen levels come down when you add antibiotics or any kind of medication so please be very careful about that this treatment okay has to go on for five days uh, this, suppose you start today the next day you do a 50 percent water change add fresh water and then repeat the same dosage all antibiotics generally the dosage or the power of the antibiotics is not more than eight hours every day 50 percent water change is very important add fresh water and use the same dosage this treatment should not be done more than seven days continuously because even the fishes need some break time to recover 
So, it also depends on what condition your fish is at. If the infection is very high, it might be very difficult to save the fish. If the infection is medium, in 5 days of treatment, it is fine. But like I said in the starting of the video, it is very important to identify what is the reason of the infection which happened. During treatment, feeding is not necessary. If the fish is taking food, you can feed very little because when you are doing uh, treatment, there is no filtration in your fish tank, in the hospital tank. So, avoid to overfeeding, very little you feed, one time in a day is more than enough. If the fish is taking food, otherwise feeding is not needed because it also clears out the system. So, feeding is not necessary. So, once the 5 day or 7 day treatment is done, do at least 50% uh, water change on the 6th or 7th, 8th day and then do another 50% the next day. So, the water is fully cleared out. Do not do 100% water changes because there will be a sudden change in temperature and that will also kind of uh, stress out the fish. So, please be very careful. Do water changes slowly, not more than 50%. Do it in 2 to 3 days. Once your treatment is done and water changes are done, add a sponge filter and keep the heater at about uh, 30 degrees and monitor it with a thermometer and leave the fish in that hospital tank for at least a month so that the fish recovers completely and starts taking food. So, it helps when the fish is alone during a treatment, it, it, it recovers faster. So, when you finish 5 days treatment and suddenly put it back into a, a community tank whether other fishes are there, they might tend to attack this fish and it will fall sick again. So, leave the fish in your um, you know, hospital tank for at least a month after the treatment so it recovers and then you add it slowly back into the fish tank. So, hope you guys like this video and hope you understood how to use tetracycline. Uh, like I said earlier also, please be very careful when you are using this medication. Uh, check all the reasons why this infection or any issues happened with the fish before you do any treatment. Our channel, uh, we have started now uh, four regional channels. We are making videos in uh, Hindi, Tamil, Malayalam and also Kannada. Individual channel links are mentioned in the video's description. So, for these videos, you know, important videos, we are going to be recreating in all these four regional languages. So, do subscribe to those channels for language specific videos. Yeah. Until our next video, bye bye.